Bands are a rather magical technique used to make garments fit better and make finishing easier. I'm Nancy Wiseman and I've created some innovative ways to use short rows to design unique shapes and add color to your knitting. In this video, I'll introduce techniques to make your knitting more interesting. Using self-striping yarns, short rows can create the look of intarsia without charts or all those pesky yarn ends to weave in. There is more freedom to design with no two designs alike. But you have to be comfortable enough with short rows to go wild, and you need confidence to let the yarn tell you how to create your own patterns. In this video, I will take you through the basic short row process, how they are commonly used, how they are used for shaping and fit, and how to put your favorite multicolored yarns to their best use. You'll learn to create your own patterns to work with short rows using hills, valleys, and sunsets. That's what I call them, and this will all make sense later. These short row shapes create color patterns with self-striping yarns. And finally, you'll learn to create color work in beautiful short row knitwear. This is taking short rows to the most intriguing use yet. So let's talk about what short rows are. Basically, they are knitting partially across a row, turning around, and going back. These shapes here represent the basic use of a short row. Shoulder shaping. This is short rows in stockinette. These are short rows in garter stitch. They create shapes that are high at one end, low at the other end. The most common use of short rows are in a shoulder. But if you've ever knit a sock, you have knit short rows down in the heel of the sock. Those are the two most common uses of short rows. But there are a lot of other uses. So let me show you some examples. Up here on this pink sweater, short rows were used to shape this shawl collar right here and around on the other side. On this scarf, short rows were again used to shape the collar, but I also added some short rows to put in this color work. On this scarf here, short rows were used for the color, but they were also used for some shaping here, and they look exactly like the shapes that I used for the shoulders. Here on this scarf, you can see some short rows right here. They form the curve of the scarf that actually make the scarf fit your neck better. On this uh, sweater right here, there are short rows, again forming a shawl, shawl collar, but the collar is reversed and put on the front of the sweater. This sweater right here, there are short rows that were done in a self-striping yarn, but I use them just for fun, creating an interesting color work on the sweater. They are not used for shaping. They're just used to make it more interesting looking. On this scarf here, that's an over-under color work, but they're used for shaping, not just for color. You can see them along here. On the hat, they're used for shaping. The short rows are up here forming the crown of the hat, this hat was knit around the hat rather than up the hat, and so the short rows are all up here forming the crown. And on this sweater are the hills, valleys, and sunsets that I talked about in the introduction of the video, showing the color work that you can make using the short rows.